And cheers, guys. Welcome to the Film Junkie After Video Show. I'm Dave with the Film Junkie, of course. At the Keystone again. What's happening, guys? I'm a little tired. Very tired, actually. Exhausted mentally. Uh, I haven't had a day off since last weekend. I was at work all weekend. Isn't that fun? Anyways, if you're new to my show, uh, it's not really a show, just webcam, microphone, and everything. And I just kind of talk about the videos I uploaded on the other channel. That's right. You should subscribe to that one after you subscribe to this one. I only did two today. Of course, first one being first look at Justice League um, costumes and production date set because the date is set for April 11th. And then, of course, Zack Snyder posted an awesome picture with Jason Momoa and showing like the warehouse and you kind of see some of the costumes. One in particular, everybody's like guessing on what it is and everything. Um, and uh, I kind of went off. I, <laughs> you know, because of the whole Drew at, at uh, Hit Fix thing. Yeah, I kind of uh, razzed him again because... Yeah, and um, and and I appreciate everybody going. Yeah, fuck that guy and blah blah blah. But you know what? When it comes down to it, that's it. That's all that needs to be said, and that's all that needs to be done. It's put. It's put away now. It's put away. I just found it funny because I mean, it's amazing how much his shit like stirred up the internet. You know that Saturday, a couple Saturdays ago. It's amazing how much it stirred up the internet. He probably wasn't intending it. It was mainly his opinions about everything. And of course he was wrong, but it, it's just like, uh, what, what I hate, I think what really bugged me, it was just because he wasn't just talking about sources. He was, I mean, he wasn't just talking about his opinion. He was talking about his sources, what he's been hearing and stuff like that. So I think that's what mainly did it because, um, you know, he's claiming that he heard from people who's working with the movie and everything. And that's what stirred the Internet. And then I, I do feel bad for the guy because he's getting razzed and that video is like getting tanked. But at the same time, I'm just like, why? I, like I've been stating since the beginning, like, why now? Why now? So <laughs> I, you know, and I realize I'm, I'm being dick and childish and stuff like that. But it's all it's it's mainly the reason why I'm like um, I go off and it's just because I'm just like. <laughs> like I said, month out, we're almost, a, we're pretty much a month away from the freaking movie. And just for that, for what he had to say and saying that he was hearing this from people who were working on the movie, to do that and then just to start shit. And then it was just funny too because I'm all about chat. If someone has a problem with me, t tell me. Tell me. Like when I had the whole Batman on film thing happening, you know, I approached him. And then he approached, or, you know, he, well, he called me out. I approached him. We worked it out. It's said and done. I have nothing against Batman on film or any of those guys. Okay. And uh, so I joked. I set out, sent out a tweet. And then I just kind of joked with, because uh, I used uh, Drew's little um, Twitter handle. And then all of a sudden he blocked me. And when, when that happens, that kind of gets on my nerves too. It's like, okay, come on, dude. I'm, yes. Okay. I, I made a joke on your behalf. Tell me, talk to me until you actually do that. I'm just going to look at you like, well, what are you doing? Anybody who just kind of just goes Heh, and just does that. I'm just like, oh, come on, you know, and I and, and for the most part, we're all in the same movie world. It's just I think I think I get annoyed sometimes when I mean, I follow a lot of people, too, when uh, they just nothing can like please them. They're always wanting to talk about the negative shit. And I think. Um, just with everything that's going on, I just really want this movie to come out. And I really want it to be successful and good that I just kind of was like, fuck this guy. Why? But it, when you really think about it, it probably it really was more the internet's fault than his fault. But still, you know, don't claim sources. And then all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. I mean, it's just, I mean, look what had to happen. I mean, even if it, if he was right and then Warner Brothers is just putting on a charade to let everybody know, Hey, we're fine. I mean, look what it started. That's all that's, that's what this and the Batman on film thing has, this is what has happened, is you start quoting and you start mis misquoting or just like stating something, and then all of a sudden the internet blows up. You gotta be careful. If you're a voice, if you're a high up there voice, and you've like been the source from a, for a lot of people, you really gotta be careful in this fucking world, because people will, want, will run rampant with your shit. And that's what has happened. That's what happened with Drew. That's what happened with Batman on film. And that's what was getting on my nerves. It was like, dude, guys, just shut up. That's what was getting to me. And yes, I took it far on that last video. I called him fat and shit like that. But I mean, 
I'm just a dick. <laughs> I am. I mean, and it's funny too. And he could he could throw insults right back at me. I don't care. Do it. <laughs> you know, let's have some fun. That's all I'm trying to do. But I know, and then I know even some people were like, well, if you listen to the video, and I'm like, yes, I understand that. I do. And that's why I'm done with this. Now that all this is put to bed, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not going to, unless he comes out again and like, or uh, calls me out or blah, 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 then okay, I'll have to like talk about it again. But as of right now, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Like I said, I'm sure Drew is actually a really nice guy. And I do apologize if he did see that video. And if he's watching this video, which I highly doubt, I do apologize for being coming off as a dick. But dude, just watch what you have to say. You now see what happens when you are a voice high up in this world, you are going to be a target. And if you misquote or give wrong information or just, it's going to happen, you know, it's just going to happen. And that's why it was just, I had to like do that. I don't know. It was dumb. And I do, you know, that I went a little too overboard with uh, his quotes and stuff like that. But, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not sorry. I mean, I'm sorry to a point. I'm not going to bring down the video or anything like that, but I'm just saying like, you know, just watch what you got to say, man, because look what happened. I mean, yeah. And I think some, some of these guys that are really high up and have voices around here, they just don't realize that what they say can be taken big time. If you have a fan base and you're part, or you're part of a website, you, you're, what you say could just be like, just taken totally out of proportion and then if you're claiming that you heard this from people on the movie, they're definitely going to think like, okay, this guy knows some shit, you know? And I mean, Warner Brothers was probably pissed off at him too. So th that's what it was, you know? So it's all put to bed. It is. It's all put to bed. I mean, and if, if people thought I was a little too much going on a little too much on, uh, on, on Drew, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was, but it's just, you know, it's just sometimes... You just, you got to crack the whys and that's what I did. And, and, you know, it just, it happens, you know, just, just everybody just needs to shut up sometimes when it comes to certain things like that. Voice your opinions. That's fine. If he would have just like voiced his opinion and just said, oh, you know, I think this is what's going to happen. But if he's claiming sources that Warner Brothers is this and everything's getting bad, you know, that's where it gets too much. When you're saying that you have sources, that's where you need it. Voicing your opinion is one thing. You know, and that's what's stupid. So, yeah, yeah, there you go. That's It's put to bed. It's put to bed. And I also uploaded a video of talking about the uh, the Jeep Renegade footage of Bruce Wayne running through the shit and stuff like that. So you can check that out all at FilmJunkie.com. And I think I've talked enough here, but, you know, I yeah, it's, it's been a weird thing. And I think I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting to the point where it's like almost like, Am I just starting to create Twitter beasts? Is my, is my brain brain getting burnt out so much that, eh, could be that. It very well could be that. Because usually I don't like, I don't want beefs or anything like that. I think I'm just becoming more vocal about like what I'm like feeling inside. I'd hold back before, but now I'm just kind of like, what the fuck, this fucking guy, you know? And I think it's, uh, I'm kind of realizing like, hmm, yeah, I'm probably getting a little too overboard on this, but... I mean, whatever. It happens, I guess. And I can't, you know, I can't say that it's not fun sometimes. <laughs> but, you know, it's just, it's it's the internet. You know, we all voice our opinions. And I, <laughs> I was just thinking about all this shit I said. And I'm like, kind of in retrospect going, yeah, I might not have done a little overboard. But you know what? It's all, it's entertainment value. And it's just... At, when I sometimes when I'm just feeling like ranting, I'll rant, man. And you know, it's funny too because there's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of people out there, even just like Twitter handles and stuff like that, that get on my nerves for just like going overboard with stuff. And then I'm like, whoa, maybe I'm like starting to get to that point. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, well, look what this this guy stirred up. Okay, it's put to bed now. Now I'm just going to walk away from it. Like, I won't mention Drew's name. I won't do anything like that. I'm done with it. Like I said, I'm sure he's a nice guy, and I had to just poke fun. And if he wants to approach me or send me a message like, what the fuck, I'll talk talk it out with him, just like I did with Batman on film. Simple as that, you know? 
I'm not here to like create enemies. I'm not here to do any of that. I'm just here to like report the news. But when like <laughs> when like shit just like totally just like sends the internet the other way when they were going this way and just fucking puts a detour, that's when I just like just got to me. So, anyways, guys, there you go. That's all I have to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. Ooh, excuse me. So, yeah, check out those videos. Let me know your thoughts about it. Like I said, you know, it's all put to bed. We don't need to harass him. I'm sure he's going around and just put it blocking people left and right. I just, I hate it when people do that. You know, just debate, debate, debate. I would respect the guy a whole lot more if he just would debate. And we actually talked out. I totally respect the guy oh, so much more if he did that. You know, instead of just blocking. It just seems pussy to me. I don't know. You know? I don't think I've ever blocked anybody on Twitter. I think one time I did because a long time ago when somebody was just would not stop. Stop. Like saying shit. So I had to. And that's just after telling them stop and stuff. So but yeah. No more no more of this Drew on hit fix thing. I'm over it. It's done. And uh, it's time to move on. And we got a month away from that beautiful fucking movie. And I cannot wait. And then Justice League starts a couple weeks after. We're going to start getting set photos of that. Hopefully some tasty goodies from that. So I'm looking forward to it, guys. All right? So let me know your thoughts. Talk to you later.